my people. Hope everybody had themselves a fantastic holiday season. I'm glad it's over. It can fuck off now. Um, it was awesome, though. Spent a lot of time with the family, and it's been great. Um, guys, make sure you check out Timbo437, My Bad Adventures, and Apex Alchemy all on YouTube. I would like to thank my patrons, Jeremy, Thomas, Tom, David, and Ken. You guys are awesome, and they're uh, what's making this channel happen. And, and uh, these knives were bought with Patreon, so uh, not this one. Um, uh, if you would like to support the channel, I have a link for Patreon in the description, and, uh, and there's a way that you can contact me in the description also. Um, the 500 sub giveaway, I was going to go ahead and run it, but I am like, five subscribers away from 500 so i'm just gonna wait it out because we're so close and uh go ahead and run that as soon as it hits 500 and i don't mean the second it hits 500 you know like the day of or the very next day you know give me a break anyway uh, today we're going to talk about the battle of the bigs these are the bigger seki city japan uh made spider co's um most are very well known. This is a newer model, but these have been around for a really long time. Uh, the Endura, the Police 4, which is a pocket sword. I'm not even sure I can get all that in frame. Um, and this Stretch 2 XL. Um, these are not the standard versions. The standard versions come in VG10. Uh, this one is ZDP 189, which everybody that watches my channel is familiar uh, this is a K390, and this one is Crewware. So, all of them, extremely excellent steels with uh, excellent edge retention, which is typically all I care about. None of these are stainless. This one's as close to stainless as you'll get, but it's not um, technically stainless. Um, so, whenever I was going into uh, comparing these, I carried each one for three days. This one I've carried for years, so I know how it carries. But I carried these three days, used them at work, about the same as I always do, breaking down tons of boxes, doing whatever needed to be done. Zip ties, uh, unbanding, lumber, and stuff like that. So they have some similarities. Um, blade stock thickness, uh, the grind and the geometry. Um, they all have four position pocket clip uh, which is still crap but anyway uh, they're all lockbacks they're all made in Seki City and they all basically had the same action uh, this one being a little better than the others but it also has a uh, um, 5,000 pound blade on it not really that high, heavy but anyway now the differences though even though they look very similar uh, is the ergos they all carry and hold very differently um, they're all pretty comfortable. Um, this one is extremely comfortable, and this one is as well. This one's kind of heavy and has a odd balance point, but um, that's probably because of the uh, heavy steel liners and G10. Anyway, um, they're priced vastly different. This one is about 145. Uh, your police four is 175. And for some reason, this one here is almost $300, which is bananas. Uh, way too expensive. Um, their weight is quite different. This one's heavy. This one's a little lighter. And this one's paper paper light. Um, and like I said, the balance points, you know, are a little different. Um, today, my son's sitting in here with me. Uh... He's just watching. He's curious on how it goes. So say hi. What's up? Yeah. Um, he's 16. He's really into knives as well. Um, so he just wanted to see how 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 it how the process went. Um, so I did take notes. I typically don't script my videos, but I took notes throughout the 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 week just to make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, one thing is this has a, this, uh, stretch 2XL does have quite a serious flaw. Um, the lanyard tube that, uh, it's a tube inside, kind of just think about the PM2. Um, the lanyard tube that was in here, whenever you shut the blade, it impacted and touched and laid on 
the tube and I just I, I can't believe that passed uh, quality control with spider code that just blows my mind um, so I removed it no big deal took it out it's done it's good it, it didn't make a difference it's good now but I don't understand why they didn't catch that um, and I didn't catch it at first either and I was told by a couple other guys more than one person so I know it wasn't just my knife that theirs was hitting and then I did notice a little uh, fold or a little mark on the edge where it was touching. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Anyway, I took it out. It's good to go. But I would expect uh, Spyderco to uh, fix that um, in quality, in QC. So no big deal. But that is kind of a legit flaw that needs to be addressed. And I, especially on a knife that expensive. Um, so, uh. First, we're going to talk about the Enduro. This is one of my favorite knives ever. Um, it almost made the top 10. Comes in a ton of blade steel options. Um, wish it was a little more robust. It flexes quite a bit. Uh, but all in all, it's an excellent working knife. Uh, this is absolutely a keeper. I love this knife. I put the clip on it because the clip is trash. I'm going to get one for this one too. Um, but on this one... Uh, it actually works really well. Um, if I had a deep carry on this, it would be much harder to get out of pocket. Uh, since this knife is so big, um, as far as lengthwise, this pocket clip actually works out pretty good. So, uh, believe it or not. Um, anyway, K390. Awesome steel. Probably my favorite all around. Big 4.25 inch blade. Um, check. Ergos, check. The only issue whatsoever is it is not centered. It is terribly uncentered. You could push it over and all that, but uh, that's where it kind of rests. It's not touching. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, it's not touching, but it is a thing. So I don't know why my lights just flashed out, but hopefully that doesn't happen again. Anyway, excellent, excellent working knife. I've very much enjoyed carrying it, and this is absolutely going to be a keeper for sure. I would like to have the G10 model. Um, they do have a K390 G10 model, um, but I don't want to have them both. So, you know, the, the, the off-center really doesn't bug me that bad because it's not a frame lock. So it's not that big of a deal, and it's not touching. So it's okay. Um, the edge did come a little wonky. I have sharpened this out. Um, all three of these are uh 16 degrees each side they these two came at 17 factory this one came at 16 so i put them all at 16 so they would roughly cut uh the same way um yeah although this is kind of a disappointment because of, of the uh lanyard tube um and the price is absolutely stupid it's still an excellent working knife. Um, definitely more robust than the other two, and the crew wear is definitely top tier. Love it. It's, it's awesome stuff. Um, so I'm still happy with it, and it'll be a keeper as well. Um, so I did kind of some categories here. Um, cutting performance. I put the police first, the Endura second, and the Stretch third, but these two were very, very, very close, so almost identical. This bad boy here, just, it, it's a lightsaber. I don't know if it's because of the blade length. Um, the geometry is exactly the same. I sharpened them all the same, by the way, to uh, a toothy 800 grit, and then um, a uh, um, 9 micron strop. Uh, 10 passes on each side so it's not quite mirror but it is it's pretty close um, anyway edge retention <clears throat> I, as far as I can tell the police uh, did the best the stretch second and then the Endura but they all do excellent you know um, comfort all around uh, the police is first the Endura is second and then the stretch um, carryability as far as in the pocket, um, the Endura wins hands down because it's it's much, much lighter. You don't even notice it's there. These two you definitely do. Uh, then the police and then the stretch because the stretch is quite, quite heavy, um, which is fine with me. No big deal. But, 
you know, it's a thing, so I thought I would say it. Uh, overall action, uh, one, two, three. Uh, this one's so dirty, I need to take it apart that the the action isn't fantastic. This one will fall shut, and so will the um, stretch. And then last thing, uh, sharpen ability. All three of these were very close because I used a KME on all three of them, so... It, it, none of them were difficult, but the easiest was the stretch, the second easiest was the Endura, and then the police was last. And mostly because of the length of the blade on the police uh, made it a little bit harder to uh, do. So, I love Seki City's um, knives. I love Spyderco. Everybody knows I'm a fanboy. Um, I'm going to get a clip for this one, not this one. This one's going to stay the way it is. But um, the QC issues on both of these are, are kind of not cool, man. Especially for the price. This one's 175. This one's almost 300. Um, that lanyard tube deal is a big deal to me. Um, and honestly, I shouldn't have got a brand new knife that was off center that bad. It is what it is, but those are things. So uh, if you guys go to order any of these, you'll you'll know that that's a possibility. Typically, the stuff that comes out of uh, Taichung, Taiwan, are almost always perfect. And then the ones out of America are pretty close to perfect as well. Um, but it is what it is. So, guys, let me know down in the comments which one of these you like better. Or is it or a different one that, you know, the Delica or the Andela or the... Um, or the uh, Dragonfly, or any one of those. Which one is your favorite coming out of Seki City? Um, like I said, guys, we're going to do that Patreon giveaway. Or not Patreon giveaway. The 500 sub giveaway. Really soon. Also, I'm going to drop my name from the title of the channel. Uh, just whenever I get to it. It'll, it'll happen soon. Um, it'll just be behind the edge. I want to do that before I get too many subscribers. Um... I'm not saying I'm going to get huge or anything, but, it, you know, I want to change the name early on uh, so it doesn't confuse anybody. Uh, Nicholas, what are you carrying today? Let me see what you got. You do have a knife on you. Awesome. This is a lightning out the front. I got this for him quite a... No, he bought this himself with his own money. Um, very sharp. Nice little starter uh, knife for sure. There you go, buddy. And today I'm carrying the police, so... Uh, that's all I got for y'all today. I hope everybody had themselves an excellent Christmas season. Got to spend time with your family. Um, didn't spend too much money and everybody stayed safe. Um, make sure you hit the like button. Please, it's right down there. And if you do, you will automatically be entered to win a half a cup of coffee. All right. You guys have yourselves a fantastic rest of your afternoon. Later.